If I was going to death row tomorrow, this would be my last meal on earth. I'm not particularly happy today. It's one of those days. It's not a good day. It feels like life's dragging you down one of those days. I've always relied on food and cooking to kind of lift me up when I'm feeling down. So I decided I'm gonna cook for myself today with love. It's important you do that. Sometimes we make food for ourselves just to eat. We're not cooking for somebody else, so we kind of don't care. But when you're feeling down, it's important to make something you love. And today, we're gonna make something that would probably be my last meal, rigatoni and meatballs. Tomato sauce and meatballs was one of the first recipes when I started cooking eight or 10 years ago that I really wanted to figure out how I like them. One of the things my mom makes well is meatloaf. And she has this one trick she used where she puts V8 juice in the meatloaf mix to give it some sort of just did something. And so I took that idea and I applied it to my meatballs. So I'm done talking. Let's get right into it. And let's make ourselves some pasta and meatballs. I've got two cans of whole San Marzano tomatoes pureed here. We're gonna start this recipe almost exactly the way we did in my weekday sauce video. Puree tomatoes with a food mill. Run it through there, get them nice and smooth. You throw it in a pan with some olive oil, garlic, and basil. Infuse that, and then we make the meatballs. But we wanna get the sauce on first to sort of kinda get some flavor developing, and then we can come back and make the meatballs. Like I've repeatedly said, I prefer my garlic thinly sliced when I'm making tomato sauce. So I'm just gonna run through this and slice it up real quick the way that I like it. Let's get scratching. So again, the basis of our sauce is gonna be pure, two cans of pureed tomatoes. I like a lot of garlic, you can use less. I used about six, seven cloves of garlic, sliced thin. Some basil leaves to flavor the oil, and of course, some olive oil. Just like we did with the weekday sauce, we're gonna add in enough olive oil to coat the bottom of the pan. And we're all adding that into the cold oil and we're gonna let it come up to temperature slowly and infuse the oil before adding the tomatoes. Let's get started on the meatballs. Half of a bunch of parsley and just get that all scrunched up. Here's what's going down with the, the meatballs. It's a combination of ground meat and like egg and cheese and parsley and all that kind of stuff. And we often just put the meat together and throw everything in it. So what I've begun to done is make like a sort of a separate slurry filled with flavor. Then I can take the ground beef and add as I need to get the right kind of balance between moisture and having the balls maintain their shape and flavor. Pound and a half of ground beef a bad day. Just tried to put the beef into the slurry bowl. The reserved tomato sauce. I forgot to mention the most important part. Reserve some of the tomato sauce for the meatballs. About that much. The reserved tomato sauce. I want to go in with that. I'm going to have some heavy cream. Two eggs per pound and since I'm using a pound and a half I'm going to use three. Those are big eggs, I'm gonna use two. If eggs come in small sizes, they come in big sizes. You gotta adjust. Parsley. About a cup of breadcrumbs. Now the cheese is important. For meatballs, it's all about Pecorino Romano. It's like Parmesan cheese, has the same sort of similar flavor profile, uh, but it is from a different cow and it has a higher salt content. So it's gonna do wonders in flavoring the meat from inside. Three garlic cloves that I'm gonna just grate in. Pinch of salt. Black pepper. All that flavor is just completely blended in now with one another. I can take some of this out and incorporate it with my meatballs. 
think I'm gonna use at least 50% of this. This is a pound and a half. I'm also gonna season the meat. And you just work it in. And almost just by smelling them, I can tell that they're right. So I have about that much left. I'm making sure it's not too wet. It'll hold its shape when I roll them into balls and make sure that they're properly flavored. I don't like my meatballs too big. I like them small to mid-sized. You make them however you like. If it doesn't matter, they're all gonna cook the same. They're all gonna sit in the sauce for a while. So just do whatever size you like. I'm going with how I like them. A little water on your hands helps. Cup your hand. They should hold the shape of a ball. They shouldn't kind of sink down. You can also just kind of bounce it in your hand, squeezing gently to get it all incorporated and then shape it into a ball like that. All right, so now we're just going to sear them in some olive oil, brown them on the outside. You don't have to do that. They can go straight into the sauce if you don't want to do that extra step. It's just a browning of the meat. It's, an, it's another way to add more flavor, but again, it's a preference thing. If you're lazy, you don't want to do it, throw it in, it's not much different. That's what meatballs should look like. So the problem with meatballs is they're usually tough. I find the way to get around that is a good balance between filling and meat. They're flavorful. The garlic doesn't taste raw. It's cooked through it because we grated it. We didn't chop it. I can taste the parsley, the cheese. Everything's perfect. The pasta is al dente. No more words. You know, everybody's got bad days. Life is all about ups and downs. You can always rely on food to get you through. And if I was going to death row tomorrow, this would be my last meal on earth. Go down in the comments, what's your favorite thing to eat when you're kind of feeling like a dumpster? Maybe we'll turn it into a thing whenever I feel like crap, but I still have to film the video. Let's turn something less than ideal into a positive. Thanks for watching. Sorry today was like on the downer side. It's hard to come out here at twice a week, make a video uh, even when I don't want to sometimes, but thankfully there's enough of you here to keep me motivated keep doing it even if I have a down day. So I wish you the best. Tomorrow's another day. We get a second chance. Try again.